For us, everything starts with the artist. Um, and I think artists, as they're evolving, as media is evolving, as technology is evolving, artists are much more um, multi-dimensional in how they kind of output creative. So obviously there's the music, which is the core. There's a music video, certainly the live experience, and artists are getting very kind of entrenched in that experience. And I think artists are also learning how to communicate with their fans differently. And now there's so many different ways to communicate with them and stories to tell that we're trying to hope kind of compare, kind of pair that energy the artists have with some of the production and directors and the kind of creative community and content and marry them together because there is, as you know, an abundance of a marketplace for this content. It's just a matter of where you put it, what's the right place to put it in, and how you communicate with the fans directly. So I think artists are really kind of loving to work in so this multi-dimensional world where it used to be the music and then the music video were the two outputs. Now it's become completely from written word to podcasting to video content, artists have this freedom to work in now. So historically the music labels have made videos as promotion. Sure. Um, and I'm sure that's part of it. Is the, are there other aspects to it in terms of ways that these videos are monetized or I mean in addition to their just reputation selling records? Sure. I mean you know our, our model is to, to monetize and build revenue for the artists outside of the traditional model of music videos and music. Um, there is a, an appetite for music content outside what we call the, the traditional kind of stuff, which is obviously music and, and short form music video. Um, and people are willing to, to buy that. So our, our pitch to the artist is, you know, let's kind of mine your creative um, energy, what you want to do in this space, and really build a, a, a revenue stream for you that's different. So we pay our artists separately through our content. They're a partner in all these shows. Um, they're as much a part of it as anyone else. I mean, it's their vision and their voice. So we're, we're very sensitive to that. It's very important to us. Cool, and if you can, can you tell us some of the kind of exciting acts and, and activations that you've done sure. uh, recently? Yeah, um, so we did a, a show with Jack Antonoff, who's a lead singer of the Bleachers, um, and uh, he had an idea for a tour doc, and we kind of put together uh, this company called Above Average, which is you know the digital video arm of Broadway video, and kind of built a, a show that a tour doc meets Kirby Enthusiasm. And it really is this journey in six episodes of him trying to find a manager, played by Olivia Wilde and Colin Quinn and others. Um, and kind of the craziness of the road built on the storyline of him trying to find these managers who are equally crazy. Um, so it really had a great storyline as well to life on the road. Um, and we did six episodes of that. Um, and now we're packaging season two for television, which is really exciting. So uh, that's one that, you know, we, and that's Jack's vision to the point I made before. That was really Jack's idea, his vision, his genius, and his kind of humor comes through in that show. We just kind of gave him the tools to execute. And finally, the, uh, the platforms, you know, YouTube, of course, and, sure. and, and Vivo, and, you know, but uh, people are consuming in different ways. Tell us a little bit about a, a kind of the platform scheme, if you will, yeah. where you get this stuff consumed. Well, it's interesting because, of, you know, we're in the music space. We have a little bit of a luxury where we have partners that will buy content, the YouTubes, um, and obviously the Amazons and those places. But we also have our artist channels. So our artist channels are, we look upon as, as networks and distribution points. So we're packaging content, putting on their channels, bringing advertisers into the conversation. So we have a unique platform that most people don't have because as you know, artists have millions of fans. Um, so we're putting content on their Vivo channels directly as well as kind of to the sales community of the YouTubes, um, the Amazons and the Hulus and, and those folks.